What is going on guys? It's Crazy Pickle. So this video is a little bit different. It's about how to set up the reshade for your Skyforge. First thing I'm gonna say that it's only for the PC version. So there is no reshader for the PS4 or Xbox One, unfortunately. So and also that if you can play the Skyforge on high settings, then you can set up the reshade. Uh, I haven't tried it if you have like a lower settings and if let's see if your PC or laptop or whatever you're using cannot handle the high uh, settings, the graphics and all that stuff, then I mean you can still try it and then see if it works for you, if it's not laggy, if it doesn't like slows down the game and all that. You can still try it. If it doesn't work for the players who can handle uh, who just playing in the lower settings, then you can just simply delete that uh, folder from the game where you installed it. So, well, the first thing I'm gonna say that I will leave a link in the description where you can download that file, which is gonna be on the Google Drive. It's a reshade setup 3.4.1. So just simply uh, click download and then save that file where you wanna save it. So. When you do that, since I already have one, uh, I have on my desktop right here, so you have that file right here. So you open the file, it's gonna ask you to select the game, so you're gonna click that button right here. Then you find where you install the Skyforge game. So in my case, it's a D, my game, skyforgemy.com, and then folder bin32, and this is where it's gonna be. So then you select the Skyforge file, application uh, yep like right here and then open it so it will take the game and then you can select the direct 3d 9 direct 3d 10 plus I believe it depends on the game so you can check the settings in the game and see what games using I'm using a direct 3d 9 so it works perfect for me you sell you click on that you click it and it's gonna ask you to install for me it's uh, to overwrite the existing installation so when you do that you uh, it's gonna ask you to like you want to install it so you say yes and it's gonna ask you one more thing like do you want to install extra uh, like the settings for that just simply click yes and all that so uh, it will also open the window for you uh, let's say just override the exit. Yeah, let's just go. I'm gonna say yes, and then it says, "Do you wish to download a collection of standard effects from uh, their website?" Uh, I'm just gonna say yes, and it's gonna download that really fast because files are not too big. So now it's gonna pop the window, and for you, all the items will be checked. So what you need to do is. Well, of course, it's gonna install it for me. So, what you need to do is you're gonna select only colorfulness, curves, then eye adaptation, levels, luma sharpen, smaa.fx, and that's pretty much it. So, one two three four five six so just six files you need to select rest of it just uncheck that and then click ok then installing to skyforge succeeded so as you can see here on the folder this is the files that you need to have uh, keep in mind that smaafxh it's the default that it's installed it's not listed in that list that we just saw so same as UI detect and same as reshade, same as FXAA, FXH and draw text, they are default files, they will always be here. So like I said, select colorfulness, curves, eye adaptation, levels, luma sharpen and SMA. AFX. So these files you need to check on that little box. Everything else just uncheck it. When you do that, uh, you can close that. Then you can just go simply play the game and let's load. 
until it load the game. Alright, so you open the game, don't go to Skyforge or Battle Royale, stay on this window right here, on this first option. What you need to do is click combination Shift plus F2 and it will open the reshade window or overlay, whatever you want to call it. So you will have a small tutorial which just follow, just read what it says to do what needs to be done and things like that just it, it's really simple it's gonna not gonna take you like forever it's like a minute or two maybe so you you what you did through the tutorial and then what you need to do is it's gonna be like right here so it's gonna be settings set up for the um, for each item that it has here so what you need to do is Uh, okay, well, for some reason, the colorfulness doesn't show actual numbers, which it was before, but keep in mind that this uh, version is not updated, so, because for some reason, when I try to get an updated version, which is 4.0, some reason, my antivirus find items in that as the virus, so, and I will probably gonna stick with the old version for now as long as it works and so pretty much colorfulness um, it might gonna set up right away so this is just the settings it should be on the configuration mode so what you need to do is you need to switch the mode switch the mode uh, which is gonna be Luma first, but you go for both Luma and Chroma, so you choose that. This is... Yeah, I know. So this is uh, stays the same. Don't change anything here. Then all this too, it's gonna be checked, so you're gonna keep that as well. So levels 16 to 32, it's the same. Luma Sharp normal, I would keep it normal. Uh, and then SMA just go by the default. So pretty much you don't have to, you only change that the curves one. And that's pretty much it. So it should be like this. So if, if I will uncheck all of it, so it's just the basic right now colors from the Skyforge. And if I will go for and reactivate it, this is how it's supposed to look like. So when you set up that, you can it like reload it, just in case. And then, what you need to do, go to the settings, and then usage mode, from the configuration mode, switch the performance mode. When you do that, it's reloaded, and you're good to go. So, that's pretty much it, what you need to do, it's very simple, and then it's gonna be like right here, no configurations right here, so, pretty simple. Nothing much, uh, nothing actually, like it's not a science or something like that. So then you can just close it and play the game and enjoy it. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you liked it. Hope whoever wants it, go ahead and try it. Even if you're playing on the high settings or low settings, you can definitely try it and see if it works. If it doesn't work for players who play with the lower settings, then don't even bother with that because you need powerful computer, laptop, whatever. To do that so um but yeah that's it for this video guys and until the next time take care